My name is Jim Scarcella and I'm the Executive Director of Aramont School of Arts and Crafts. I'm taking over from Bill May, who recently retired at the end of March, and I'd like to begin by formally congratulating him on a very long and successful career managing Aramont through some very difficult times. A little bit of my background, I've had a career in medicine for the past 30 years working as a nurse anesthetist and for many of those years as the owner and operator of an anesthesia management company in Michigan, where I'm from. So how does someone go from there to becoming the executive director of an art school? Well, that's a very good question. So although my career has been in medicine for the past 30 plus years, uh, I've always been passionate about the arts and craft. I personally am a wood turner and woodworker for my entire adult life, and uh, that's how I became associated with Aramont. About 12 years ago, I came to take my first class. I've been returning at least once a year, every year since. Um, initially as a student, later on as an instructor. And uh, when I retired from my career in anesthesia, what I wanted to do, pursue for the second half of my career was something in the arts. So Aramont's always been incredibly important to me. I, it's been a special place since the first time I came here. So I'm, I'm very excited to be part of Aramont in a bigger way. This isn't exactly how I thought the start of being executive director would begin, but I'm really excited to be here. I'm happy to be working with such a talented group of people and uh, excited about moving Aramont into the future. So with regard to the global pandemic, where is Aramont now? As is true of most organizations, we've been forced to make some very difficult decisions. As we've considered those decisions, what's been most important always is the health and safety of our staff and the community we serve. What we've done so far is close the campus to outside visitors. The majority of our staff is working remotely from home. Regrettably, we've decided to cancel our summer season, including all the workshops and events we had scheduled through August 8th of this year. Anyone currently registered for a workshop during that time will receive a full refund or if you have the ability to forego the refund at this time, we are offering you the opportunity to accept a voucher in the amount you've paid, plus $200 off your next scheduled class, good for any workshop through the 2021 season. In addition, you'll have the opportunity to register early prior to open registration. Our registration staff will be in contact via phone and email to ensure we process those refunds and vouchers as quickly as possible. Although we're not on campus, we still want to stay in touch and assist our artist community as much as possible. With that in mind, we started a new social media series called Aramont Connections. This series is designed to showcase our Aramont family of instructors, residents, and students and help them to promote their work and tell their stories. During this time, what we've decided to do as we're not working with workshops and events on campus, we really decided to make our focus as to how we can help our community, the artists that we serve, the students, the instructors, the work studies. So we've designed some programs to really help spotlight them, help them show their work, help them get their websites and blogs and Etsy accounts out there, um, and also keep everybody connected. It's a very stressful time for people. Everybody's isolated at home. We just want to try to create an environment, albeit virtual, where we can kind of all stay together as a group, figure out what's going on, help those people that we can to sell some of their work. So that's kind of going to be our push as we move through these next few months. In closing, I want to thank you for your support and for being part of the Aramont community. We look forward to seeing you back on campus soon. Please keep in touch. Let us know how we can support you and your work. And most importantly, please stay safe.